Oh my god, look at this. Are you buying Apple laptop computers like others are buying underwear? Before buying this beautiful new laptop, I watched several YouTube videos reviewing this device. Let me summarize the two essential points from those reviews. First, if you want this laptop, don't buy the basic configuration. Instead, go for at least 512GB of memory and 8GB of RAM. That's because there's a substantial performance increase if you do it like that. Second, if value for money is an essential consideration, you should go for an older version of the MacBook Air. Those will probably give you more bang for the buck. If you like the lightweight design and incredible performance of the Apple M2 chip and can afford to spend a premium for a new laptop, then you should go for it. Before buying the MacBook Air M2, I compared it to the 14-inch M1 MacBook Pro. I do use my laptop to edit videos like this one. The MacBook Air M2 can handle this beautifully. There's no need to buy a MacBook Pro for that. The new MacBook Air is not for you if you do complex and lengthy video edits in 8K for 8 hours daily. However, most people don't do that. Before owning this laptop, I used an 18-inch iPad Pro with a keyboard. When I compared the weight of that with that of the MacBook Air, then the iPad Pro weighed only 100 gram or 3.5 ounces less than the MacBook Air. I realized I'd no longer use my iPad Pro with a keyboard. It doesn't make much sense anymore because the iPad Air weighs about the same and has a much bigger screen. So what I do these days is use this beautiful and lightweight Apple cover for my iPad Pro. Then I put that right next to my naked MacBook Air and carry both in a slim laptop bag. While more ports are nice, I don't need them. If you are a minimalist like me, then less is more. Also, it's essential to know that more ports come at a price. In this case, it's added weight. Also, I wouldn't say I like the design of the M1 MacBook Pro. Just look at the difference when looking at the keyboard. In another MacBook Air M2 review, I learned that the person had bought the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro. Most of the time he'd use the MacBook Air instead of the Pro because he said it was much more enjoyable to put it on his lap. I noticed the same when I compared the MacBook Air M2 with my older MacBook Pro M1. Sitting on a couch with a new MacBook Air is much more fun. I never considered watching a masterclass or the latest Apple keynote of my MacBook Pro. With the Air, that has changed. I enjoy doing that now. To me, it doesn't make much sense to look at lengthy specs comparisons if, in the end, we prefer using the more beautiful and lightweight machine. While the MacBook Pro comes with a dynamic 120Hz refresh rate, the MacBook Air M2 only has a 60Hz refresh rate. I have looked at screens with both rates and have noticed no difference. Please let me know if you can see the difference in the comments below. When it comes to the sound, I've noticed a clear difference though. The sound of the MacBook Air M2 seems far inferior to the one of the MacBook Pro. I don't care a lot about that because most of the time I use my AirPods Pro anyway. So it's rare I use those speakers at all. I'd argue that the MacBook Air M2 is the perfect laptop for most people. We should be brutally honest about what we use our laptops for most of the time. Yes, you get fewer features on this MacBook Air M2 than a MacBook Pro. At the same time, you need to pay about the same for a MacBook Air M2 if you want the best possible performance. So what it comes down to is what you use your laptop for and what you value most in a computer. If you don't use it to cut videos in 8K for an entire workday, you don't need a MacBook Pro. If all you ever do is do some 4K video editing, then this MacBook Air M2 will be perfect for that. If you like to use your laptop for what it is meant for, to take it with you, then I believe no computer can beat the new MacBook Air M2. Also, if you are a minimalist and like to surround yourself with beautiful objects that are fun to use, then you love the new MacBook Air M2. I hope you've enjoyed the short MacBook Air M2 review. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching and until next time.